Today, we're gonna to be talking about log lines. For those who don't know, a log line is a screenwriting term, one to two sentence, typically under 30 word description of your show or movie. A lot of people struggle with writing log lines because they're so short. A log line has to be so short because essentially you have to capture someone's attention, someone typically from LA, and they have a very short attention span. It has to be something that is repeatable and immediately gives them a feeling and an understanding of what your story is. I have a secret for writing better log lines. Read more poetry. I know, prose, poetry, what do they have to do with each other? Poetry, which has been going for thousands of years, understands this principle, that word choice is powerful. I read a ton of Sylvia Plath a couple years ago. There's lots of other poets I've read, but there's just something about her. She has this attitude, this acerbic kind of nature, an acid tongue, and her word choice is just amazing. Poets understand that words are essentially music, and that if you compose them correctly, if you put them in the right order, you can actually make certain words pop out. Now, writing a good log line, you can get it to be more memorable if it actually has word choice that packs a punch. A poem called Mushrooms. Overnight, very whitely, discreetly, very quietly, our toes, our noses, take hold on the loam, acquire the air. Nobody sees us, stops us, betrays us. The small grains make room. The soft fists insist on heaving the needles, the leafy bedding. Even the paving, our hammers, our rams, earless, eyeless, perfectly voiceless, widen the crannies, shoulder through holes. We die out on water, on crumbs of shadow, bland mannered asking, little or nothing. So many of us, so many of us, we are shelves, we are tables, we are meek, we are edible. Nudgers and shovers, in spite of ourselves, our kind multiplies. We shall by morning inherit the earth, our foots in the door. That's an amazing poem. There are certain words that popped out to you. Words like crannies and shadow and meek. I think of a tiny white, slightly wet mushroom working its way through the dark mulch of a backyard just to pop up in the morning and be totally mowed over by a lawnmower. You really gotta read more poetry. Poetry. Hey, can you get your own hole? Yeah. Thank you. This content hole is taken. 